everything inside me. Today's world is a strange place. We are inundated with signals from early on in life, encouraging each of us to walk a particular path, establishing blinders on us along the way, to discourage us from looking for alternatives to what the herd is doing or thinking. Life is so complex that over time, if we are paying attention, we realize that there are an infinite number of possibilities to what the human experience could be, and we come see that the world is on fire, because individuals all too infrequently question why things are the way they are, failing to notice that their minsider behavior needs adjustment in favor of more intelligent, commonsensical, or sustainable patterns of existence. Not meant to be overtly critical of anyone's lifestyle choices or personal situation, the following 14 signs that you're a slave to the matrix are meant purely as an observational approach to helping you identify the areas of your life where you may be missing an opportunity to liberate yourself from someone else's self-destructive design for your life. Watch on, and please take a moment to comment below with anything you'd like to add to the list or object to. 1. You've picked Team Democrat or Team Republican, and argue with your friends, family and co-workers about politics. This is what the control strategy of divide and conquer looks like in our society. Both of the major parties are corrupt through and through, and independent candidates are not even allowed to. By believing in one of these parties and burning your personal energy on arguing with other ordinary people, you are turning over your soul the matrix, and doing your share in making sure that we the people will never be united against corruption. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. 2. You work hard doing something you hate to earn fiat dollars. Work is important, and money does pay the bills, however, so many people lose the best years of their lives, doing things they hate, just for money. The truth about money today is, that we do not have money, but instead, inflationary fiat currency that is privately owned and manipulated. Since it is still necessary to get by in this world, it is best that you get more value for your time by doing something you enjoy, or by working with people you do not despise. It is easier than you may think to live on less money than we believe we need, we just have to be willing to go against the grain realize this. 3. You go to the doctor, but you're still sick. Modern medical care, for all of its scientific progress, has sadly become sick care, where we are rarely advised to eat well and tend to our mental and physical health, but instead are routinely advised to consume expensive medications and procedures that are pushed by the for-profit healthcare matrix. 4. You're willing to accrue personal debt to fund the acquisition of a consumer-oriented lifestyle. Each time a credit card is swiped, it creates digits on the balance sheets of the banks that are most involved with the financial looting of the world today. These digits are then multiplied electronically by the fractional reserve system in place, which exponentially increases the power of these institutions. To participate in this, and by agreeing to pay this fake money back with interest, in order to maintain a certain lifestyle, is a strong indication that you are bound by one of the main tenets of the matrix, consumerism. 5. You converse with real people about the ongoing happenings of TV shows. TV is the most potent tool used for mind control, and the programming that is available, while certainly cool, fun, or entertaining, is geared to reinforce certain behaviors amongst the masses. Dramatizing the ego's importance, over-sexualizing everything, glorifying violence, and teaching submissiveness to phony authority, are the main features of modern TV. By taking what is happening on screen, and making it a part of your real life, you are doing your job of supporting the Matrix's desire to confuse us about the nature of reality, proving that something doesn't have to actually happen in order it to feel real to people. 6. You don't have anything to hide from total surveillance. If it does not bother you that someone, somewhere, working for somebody is watching you, listening to your conversations, and monitoring your movements, then, you are a good slave to the matrix. 
invisible surveillances and insidious form of thought control, and by using the logic of, I have I nothing, have nothing to, hide, to hide, therefore, therefore it will it do will me do no, no harm, harm to be surveilled, surveilled, then you are mindlessly admitting that you have an earthly master and are not of sovereign mind and body. 7. You knowingly drink fluoridated water. Of all the health debates taking place today, the topic of fluoridated water is the easiest to understand, for it is a toxic by-product of an industrial process. Water is supposedly fluoridated to aid in dental health, which is debatable in itself, but if this were so, then, the involuntary fluoridation of public water is a medication without your consent. A form of slavery. Knowing this and continuing to drink fluoridated water is a sign that you're content with your slavery to the matrix. 8. You knowingly consume toxic poisons like MSG and aspartum. These two chemicals are widely known to be toxic to the human body. Knowing this and continuing to poison yourself with tasty but chemical-laden processed foods is a sign that the Matrix has programmed you to place less value on your health and future than on your immediate gratification. 9. You depend on the pharmaceutical-industrial complex for the management of your own mental health. The use of psychotropic medicines is rising rapidly in our society because people have been convinced that mental states are similar to diseases, while the truth about natural mental health has been obfuscated by corporate media and a for-profit medical establishment. If you're taking psychotropic medications, then you are under one of the most potent forms of mind control available. Part of this control is to convince you that you have no authority over your own mind. This is perhaps the Matrix's most terrible lie, and by willingly taking these psychotropic medications, you are conforming to the worst kind of slavery and inhibiting your natural mental and emotional responses to the life stressors that are signaling to you that you need to change your behavior and habits. 10. You haven't yet stopped watching your local and national news programming. The mainstream news media is a tool of control and manipulation, and by continuing to support their ideas and worldviews, by giving them your attention, you are volunteering to be a slave to this not-so-subtle form of mental programming. Even the local news is scripted at the national level by agents of the handful of corporations tasked with shaping our opinions of events. 11. You're more concerned with televised sports or other mindless distractions than you are with the quality of your natural environment, the Deepwater Horizon, Alberta Tar Sands, the rise of fracking, the sacrifice of the Amazon and Fukushima are all life-changing events that will severely impact the our future on Earth. To be unconcerned with all of this while tuning into a never-ending stream of sports trivia and distraction-based living is a sign that your sense of self-preservation has been stolen and replaced with an impulsive tendency for triviality and escapism. 12. You're skeptical of any area of life that hasn't been proven or validated by modern science. The very essence of science is the inquiry into the unknown, implying that until science can grasp something, it is unexplainable. By discrediting or ridiculing experiences that other people have, yet evade scientific understanding, like near-death experiences, acupuncture, or the life-changing effects of ayahuasca, then you are slavishly reducing your understanding of the world to a narrow range of possibilities. The Matrix is made possible by efforts of volunteer gatekeepers people who are unwilling to think outside of the box. 13. You've never questioned the popularized version of ancient history and the origins of our civilization. There are many unanswered questions about the origins of the human race that point to a different version of human history than what is taught in school. By never questioning what we've been told about our origin, we are acquiescing to many of the imposed belief systems and narrow-banded views of human potential that the Matrix promotes. 14. You haven't yet realized that you are a spiritual being, having a human experience. If you can relate to any of the items on this list, then the Matrix has you, and it is now your duty to engage more deeply in your liberation. If you'd like to add to or object to anything on this list, then please do so in the comment section below, and be sure to share this with your friends. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. 
apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.